Good morning, guys and gals. So today we're outside of the scat pack, and when I ordered my car, I ordered it with the engine block heater. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a little demonstration on um, an engine block heater and see how much we could warm up the engine coolant in two hours. Uh, currently this morning, it is around zero degrees. And um, let's get this started. So fortunately, I have an electric hookup just outside my car. Um, so I plugged in the extension cord and um, now we're gonna go inside the cabin and see what the coolant temperature is. All right, so we're inside the cabin right now. You can see it's one degree for that. Coolant temperature is 16 degrees and that is at approximately eight o'clock. So um, let's pop the hood, hook up the um, engine block heater and um, get this process started. All right, so I got my engine. Uh, I'm in my engine bay now. And as you can see, right to the right of the air box is the, um, is the cord here, the male end for the engine block heater. And I just got my cord here and um, let's get her plugged in. All right, so she's plugged in at approximately 8 a.m. this morning. I'll come out in 30 minutes, maybe an hour, see where we're at, and then see where we're at at two hours. And one thing I also noticed, and I doubt I'll be able to pick it up, is once it's plugged in, you do hear a little bit of noise. It kind of sounds like a, like a puffing noise, maybe. I know some, um, you know, buzz or beep or make that kind of noise, but this is kind of like a poofing, puffing noise. The one thing I also want to check is, you know, we're just plugged in, coolant 16, but I did want to uh, check in to see if the oil temp rises at all. I believe it's, you know, primarily focused to increase the coolant temp, um, but let's see if the oil temp increases as well. Back in the car at about 8.30. And let's check in on the coolant and the oil temp. Ooh, so the coolant temp jumped up to 23 degrees from 16 in 30 minutes. And the oil temperature is actually colder. So kind of goes um, to the theory that uh, engine block heater heats up the coolant and not necessarily the oil temp, but we'll keep an eye on it. All right, we're back in around nine o'clock and looky here, coolant temperature now is up to 37. We started off at uh, 16, then went to 23 and then 37, so it's gaining. And our oil temp is back up to 16, so uh, no difference in oil temp. All right, we're back in the car at 9.30. And our coolant temp is all the way up to 48. Outstanding. So that's 90 minutes in. And the oil temp raised four degrees, so it's up to 20 degrees now. Check back in 30. All right, we're back in the car, 9.55, so an hour and uh, 55 minutes in. I uh, had to cut a couple minutes short, but coolant temp is all the way up to 55 degrees, which is outstanding. Um, it's warmed up a little bit outside, as you can see, um, but it's definitely, uh, it's definitely proved to be very effective. And then our oil temp is up to 22, 23 degrees, so... I would say very, very little or pretty insignificant impact to oil temp compared to the coolant temp. Um, but that's, uh, that will conclude our test. I'm going to go 
uh, do a cold start and uh, and see how it sounds in comparison to uh, to what it would be like without the warmer cooling. And here's uh, something that I found interesting too is you know you look on the hood here we're starting to get a little bit of light snow but um, you can tell where the heat has risen out from the engine bay and uh, it melted a little bit of snow off the hood so it's definitely definitely doing its job all right so here's that cold start all right so i'm gonna put it in oh, smokes hold on i'm gonna put it in sports mode for a second see how it does in sports mode a little less uh, with a little less traction so far so good okay I'm gonna have to Man. Um, I think this could be really interesting I'm gonna go right What do you know? We're approaching a, uh, a bunch of deer here on the road. Thank you for getting out of the way. All right, and here is that turn that's gonna be um, pretty challenging. It's, it's really deep. It's a very sharp, winding turn. And I'm in sports mode, so we'll see. We'll see how it does. It's probably I'm gonna have to power through this, and it's probably gonna fishtail quite a bit, perhaps. All right, so far so good. Power, power out. Slide it. Beautiful. Morning, everybody. Hope everyone had a good and safe New Year's and Christmas. Um. I'm waking up to uh, quite a bit of snow here. Um, I'm anticipating or guessing somewhere around a foot of snow. Can't see my back tire there. And i uh, been looking forward to driving the scat pack um, in the winter and in the snow. And I think I have that opportunity. So I'm hoping uh, to be able to get out and test it out. Um, I was out last night in about an inch of snow and uh, these um, General Arctic 12 tires were doing fantastic, but I think this is a, uh, a better challenge for them. So if I do get a video uh, recorded and get a chance to get out there, I will get it posted. Hope all is well and talk to you guys soon. Take care.